I'm just gonna go ahead and use this called Blur and I'm gonna be using my Sueve 221 blending brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and do my crease. I'm starting at the outer corner and also the inner corner because we want the center to be the highlight. For the bottom last line, I'm gonna be using my Smith Cosmetic 253 brush and I'm still using that blur shadow. I'm gonna do my under eye and again, just doing the outer and inner corner only. I'm gonna deepen the eyes using Unseen Shadow from Melt Cosmetics as well. I'm just again doing the inner and outer corners. So I'm just gonna start at the bottom. Since I have the brush on me, I'm just gonna wing it up so it connects with the top. So same um, Suiva brush again, I'm just gonna do the outer corner. I'm just constantly tapping it into the crease. Not taking it too far into the center. Kind of there to the corner of it. Just pushing it up again. Then I'm gonna go over with Dark Matter Shadow, which is a matte black shadow. You see my Suiva brush again. And I'm just putting this in the very base of my lashes. I'm not going out, outside the crease. Then I'm gonna be using my Pretty Girls E02 brush. I'm just gonna layer this black down until I'm happy with the intensity. And going over with my Sammy Beauty brush 2.3. Making sure that I don't go over my crease because I'm kinda hitting there. Not really bringing my A game today. Then I'm using my OPV flat brush. And I'm just gonna do the inner corners. And the bottom part, I'm just pushing the shadow all the way to the base of my lashes. Just kind of keep blending it into just the inner corner here. And again, just blending everything out. I'm getting kind of watery on this eye. Ever since I arrived, I've been having the reverse allergic reaction on gluten. So I've just kind of been avoiding makeup the last few days just to like get my skin a break. That's also why my skin is a little bit patchy but I hope, I'm hoping you guys can't notice it. Um, since the black shadow was a little harder to blend on the crease, I'm gonna go over with a shimmery shadow and I'm using my Anastasia Labyrinth shadow which is like a um, like purpley plummy shadow with shimmer in it. I am going to be using my Pretty Girls brush and this is the E03 blending brush. It's a little fluffier so not a lot of product will come on it. I'm just lightly applying it on my crease and in the corner as well. I'm just going over with my Pretty Girls E02 brush. I'm just going to do the bottom. And I'm going to go in with my 253 Smith brush. I'm just going to intensify that black Going in with my Pretty Girls brush, just lightly blending it. So now that I'm happy with the intensity of the black, I'm gonna go over with um, Anastasia Fair Contour Kit. I'm using this highlighting cream for my for the center of the eyes. Because I didn't bring anything else. I'm just gonna do my under eyes first. I'm just putting it at the very base of the lash line and dragging it down. I'm going to be using my Morphe M433 brush. I'm using my Anastasia So Hollywood Illuminator. So just on the lid here in the center. Now I'm going to go over with my blending brush again. I'm going to make sure everything is blended since the cream highlighter. I kind of took off some of that blending on the black here. I'm gonna be going over with the COVID eyeliner in Noir, which is a black pencil liner. And I'm just doing the black part on the outer corner of the waterline, top and bottom, in the inner corner as well. It's really intensifying that black. Oh, look at that, I'm watery. In a corner, I'm not taking it too far in. I'm just focusing it mostly on the tear duct. Kind of fading it in towards almost towards the middle. 
I just applied lashes and I used my House of Lashes Smoky Muse lashes, which is a new. <laughs> oh god, this is so hard. Um, so yeah, this is the new eyelashes that it came out with called Smoky Muse and they're really really nice and fluttery, almost like wispy and I just apply a little bit of mascara in the bottom but I forgot to bring a black lipstick so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using a black liner and this is an alternative to have if you do not own a black lipstick I sanitized the eyeliner already and I'm just gonna outline my lips And then I'm gonna go over with my Pretty Girls E05 brush, and which is an angle brush. I'm just gonna make sure these lines are perfect. So you can leave it at that. Um, make sure to sanitize your eyeliner again after you apply it on your lips, just because we don't want to get any weird eye infection or whatever else that could happen might happen. Okay. So you can leave it at this if you want to. If you have a black lipstick go right ahead and use that. I'm gonna be applying Anastasia Lip Gloss which is their new fall collection potion. Um, this is a really really dark plummy color and I'm just gonna use that all over my lips. So now that the lipstick is done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the dark moon simple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use black jello from Ila Mascara first of all. What you can do is you can use the lid. So here's the lid from the Ila Mascara gel liner. I'm gonna take an angle brush, take some of that gel liner. I'm gonna paint on the lid here. I'm not sure it's black so I can't really tell where I'm painting. I'm just showing you. I'm not putting a lot on. Just doing it all around. And you can place this on here to map out where you're gonna do the dark moon thing. I'm just pressing it on and it's gonna stick to it. So here we go, we have our guideline of where the circle will be. So I'm using another lid thing here. I'm gonna be applying some of that black again. Again, not a lot. Where we're gonna place this is we're gonna Kind of make sure that it touches the circle of the bottom here in the center. So the bottom part here. So what we're going to do is again stamp it on. So here you go. Now you have an upside down moon. And you can see where it ends. So we're going to kind of wash this part off here. Oh god. <laughs> Never mind. Make sure your hands are clean big thing of the black gel liner. So what I'm doing first is I'm just filling it out. So clean up this area here. So that is it for my Black Moon Client inspired look. So I hope you like it and thank you so much for watching and see you next time.